I'm in a laneway in Carlton and this back fence is a pretty famous back fence for a few reasons. My name is Roy, I'm a true crime author and historian and I've written 15 books in Australian true crime between the period of about 1900 and 1920. Now it's this fence right here, this is the back of number 50 Barclay Street in Carlton. This is the address where Squizzy Taylor and Snowy Cutmore with Herbert Budgie Wilson had a shootout on the 27th of October 1927 and in that shootout uh, Squizzy Taylor received a bullet in his liver and Snowy Cutmore received 11 bullets. Snowy's mother Bridget received a bullet in the shoulder and Budgie Wilson left the building. Budgie Wilson came out here and he jumped over this fence or maybe walked out the back door but I think that he jumped and he on the way out he threw one of the, the murder weapons in the toilet cistern in the backyard of this house, the, the flush toilet. And then he came out here and he walked this way. Now I'm going to turn the camera around and show you where he came. He came out here and he walked along here. Now, we know which way he came because he disposed of a second uh, gun up ahead in one of the houses and it raises a whole bunch of questions as to why. And I'm gonna show you the house. Now, fun fact, I just, I just started at the house that I'm gonna show you and one of the residents was coming out, a young lady, and uh, I told her this story and she was pretty blown away. So when you see this, uh, you'll know <laughs> I'm talking about you. So this is MacArthur Place here in Carlton. Now, if I turn around, that's Fitzroy just there. And uh, I can't even, lost my bearings a bit to show you where Melbourne is. But as I cross the road here, we believe that this was a grocery shop and Snowy's wife, Gladys, was shopping there at the time of his murder. Now, Budgie Wilson came this way after the shooting and he ran up here. Now, we also know that Squizzy staggered out the front and he got in a car and it would have come, it would have gone that way towards St. Vincent's Hospital. So Budgie Wilson has come a second direction and he's come along here. And a lot of these houses are untouched. They're in their original condition. Now, he had a second gun with him. Now, this is the gun that shot Squizzy Taylor. It's called the Destroyer. And it's got Destroyer written on it. And it's Snowy's gun. It's a European handheld war gun. Now, he's got options, right? Let's say he wanted to get rid of the gun. He could chuck it down there over that fence. He could do a whole lot of things with it. But what we end up finding is, you see these little patios here on the houses? He comes along here. He's still got the gun in his hand. And he, I've been walking now for a couple of minutes and he's thinking, what do I do with this gun, right? He could have gone down here and he could have chucked it over that fence, but he didn't. Instead, he brings it up to here, to number 30, sorry, number 33. Now when he gets up here to 33, he puts it just here somewhere, somewhere in this veranda. Now, it begs the question, right? Who was living here at the time that could have taken that gun and done something with it for him? But no one seems to have been living here that helped him. There was just a normal resident and they, they turned the gun in. But isn't that a strange place to put a gun? We don't know what debris, like do they have pot plants? Do they have a table and chairs? Do you see a little spot? Like if I look at the next door house, do you see a little spot where he can just shove it? We don't know. But that's just one of the mysteries about the Squizzy Taylor story. And so when they got the gun back, we, we were able to look at the barreling marks from the insides of the gun and the bullets in the people and in the walls to know which bullets came from which people. And I map it all out in the last chapters of Squizzy the Man, the Forensics and the Vendetta. And we're able to really understand who shot who that night. And I believe arguably prove that Snowy shot Squizzy and Budgie Wilson shot Snowy. I've been Roy Malloy. Check out my Facebook, social media, Instagram, TikTok, all of them, and follow me and like me and check out my books.